Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. We're going to take a look at a product. It's a little bit obscure, but it is a huge help in our leather shop, and I rarely see these in leather shops. But if we're trying to create a pattern or a design, there literally is nothing better. So let's step over here, see what I'm talking about. This is a light box, and if you've never used one of these, this is a big help in our shop. What this allows us to do, there's a light in here. And we're going to turn this on very shortly, but my camera, it's going to it's going to treat this like the surface of the sun. But what this allows us to do is trace or transfer from paper to paper. And if you've ever done that without a light box, that can be a little bit difficult. Now, we can always work on our tracing film or our pattern sheeting. Love both of them. Inexpensive. But I want to save these for my final composite design. So what I mean by that is with our light box, I can take my pieces and parts of a design. I can lay these in just like that. And I can move these around. I can manipulate these until they're in the right spot. Then I can trace onto a main or a final piece of paper. From that, that's my composite. That's my complete design. Now I can transfer over to my tracing film. So let's do this. Let's turn this light on. I'm going to reset my camera lighting, and we're going to get a look, good look at how this works. This is going to look much brighter than it actually is. In a normal room with standard lighting, it's not difficult to work with. The camera just reads it very bright. But here's the point of a light box. So there's one part of my design. I'm going to lay in my paper, press the air out. There we are. How easy is that to trace? And I can see every detail. So what I can do is I can. Now, I'd like to do this one, one piece or one part at a time, but I can lay multiple layers on this. There we go. Press that down, and there we are. So now I can create the complete design, and I can move my feathers or my circle around, trace that. At that point, I've got my final. So from there, I can jump over to my tracing film. Here's another example. So I've got all the pieces and parts here. Yeah, some traced, some templates, some cut out. So from that, I can create my final design. Yeah, and you can see right here, we've got white out in there. I love working on paper because I can erase it, but at the same time, if I really botch it, I can wad it up and throw it away. I'm not chewing up my material. So from there, I can transfer over to my tracing film. And this works just as well on the tracing film. There we are. So now we can transfer that to tracing film. We are ready to transfer that over to leather. Now, we can get these at most art stores. But let's do this. Let's jump over to our main table because we have a way to make a light box using just the things in our shop. We can go as complicated as we want, but I want to show this to be the basic common denominator. It can be as simple as this. So starting with, this is our glass. We use this to case our leather. That's in our casing video. But what I'd like to do, let's tape some of our tracing film or our pattern sheeting onto the back of our glass. So therefore, we're going to diffuse that light. Got just a couple of pieces of board here and some aluminum foil. Now, the two lights here, these come right off of the post on my pounding table. They're simply clamp lights. But what I want to do is use LED. First off, that gives me more of a white light. But at the same time, let's be careful. The reason I want to use the LEDs is because of heat. They're not going to generate much. But again, let's be a little bit careful because we've got light bulbs laying right on our work table. So let's just keep this on while we're working with it. Now I'm going to turn this on with our normal lighting, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's a lot of light. But you know what? That's going to work just as well as the professional box I bought at a store. And you know what? We're using nothing but what's in our shop. A light box is a bit of an obscure product for a leather shop, and I don't use mine all the time. But when I need it, nothing else will work as well. I hope this is good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.